Hi, Dave Cedarberg here from Purdue University Physics and Astronomy Outreach. I've got an eager group of volunteers here and a pretty cool experiment to model for you a solar eclipse. Our goal is to provide a way for you to see for yourself the arrangement of the Sun, Earth, and Moon during a solar eclipse and to appreciate the distances between them. We'll show you what to do, how to do it, and you can try it for yourself. We start by inflating a large 60-inch balloon, which in our eclipse model will be the sun. Of course, you may want to use an air supply to do that. We will represent the moon in our model with a pearl head pin. The Earth will be your eyeball. We're going to find a place on campus where we have a long distance to create our model. Before we walk our distance from the sun to where our eclipse will occur, we need a way to measure exactly how far that will be. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to lay down a piece of tape and we'll lay down a second piece of tape at an arbitrary distance of 30 feet, 10 meters, 50 feet, and walk that distance three times. We'll take the average number of steps in that distance in order to calculate the distance per step. Then when we walk back from our eclipse, we can count our steps and calculate the distance. So with our sun in place and our pearl head moon, we're going to walk away from the sun until we can get the moon to totally eclipse the sun. Okay, we have eclipsed the sun with the moon. Our next step will be to walk back to the sun to measure the distance between where we are now at total eclipse and the location of the sun. In the description of this video, you will find a link to the written lesson with sources of all the materials that we used. You will also find our contact information in case you would like to email us with any questions. If you're a student in grades 7 through 12, check out SMAP, Saturday Morning Astrophysics at Purdue.